super um, and they are just about to uh, start their warm-up lap uh, for the first race which is stocks uh, it, yeah sure it is extremely Try and turn the camera around now. Morning, Paul. Morning, all. Cheers for checking in. Right, so uh, this is obviously the, the, the stock class, and I, I don't know if you can hear. I'll try my best to shout. Uh, so, this is uh, production 4E, uh, Group 4. There's one production auto, which is Alex von Dyke. So yeah, this is basically we are ready for. Uh, that's their warm-up lap. So yeah, we are. I try and zoom in. Try and get the start a bit. I, t I thought I'd take a walk to try and. Uh, Get a bit of different angle, really. It's obviously the hairpin coming uh, up the hill. So, uh, right, let's try and zoom in. Now I can't bloody get out of zoom. Trying to stop now, but it's still streaming Oh, I don't know how to stop the there we go, yes, that's how we get back out of zone. Right, so I'll try and give you uh, some commentary. So it looks like John the Greek is in first on, on uh, the Hornet uh, small frame, 4E bike obviously, uh, closely followed by Justin Price, uh, which is obviously lead up of I can't remember if he's 4E or, or production. Uh, 4E, so then it's Stuart Day, Alex Von Dyke got a good start, uh, Chris Gayton, Keith Terry got a good start considering he qualified bad, Grant Tatton, Steve Wright, Barry just about to get overtaken by two Team Hornet, uh, Ian Scott on the small frame. So. Just, just try and get a, a, a windy it really is up here. so he's playing up. Jeans are soaking wet. All for you guys. <laughs> right, so once again, John's got a huge lead. John the Great, he's coming up now. Uh, closely, as I said, followed by Justin. John, obviously, I don't know if you've seen some of his on-board stuff. He is a master in the wet. Uh, a, a craft, he was superb. So, uh, John is obviously in the lead for, for 4E. Um, we're going to try and take a, just try and get out of this, this wind and rain. So, we're going to take a walk. So, John is miles in front. As I was saying, he's a master in the wet. Uh, he's on board stuff of, of Croft. He's su in the wet. He's super impressive. Super. He's a great rider. And obviously, he's winning overall and uh, production class for, 
for 4E, followed by Justin Price, second in 4E, uh, followed by Stuart Day, but he's obviously got a problem, so as you can hear, the exhaust is blowing. Chris Gayton, Alex Van Dyke, Keith Terry, Graham Tatton, Ian Scott, Steve Wright, and Dave Bristow. So, uh, in, in group four, it looks like Chris is in the lead, uh, but not by much. You know, Dave is following up on group four. Um, so, yeah, I'm not too sure, I, I believe, because this is uh, Lord of Lydon, this is a uh, um, but not not 100% sure on that, so what we'll do... Oh look, my chair's for us. I think John again. John's going to be lapping soon, which is no surprise. Um, I, I don't know if you know, it's that John's, John's wearing a bib, uh, John the Greek. Uh, reason being is he's technically he's not uh, to the BSSO, so uh, obviously he's a new ACU licence holder. So for 10 races he has got to wear uh, an orange Anyway, so Stuart Day is third. Chris Gayton first in group four. Keith Terry is getting, uh, is going really well. Go on, Keith. Um, yeah, this is probably Keith's best result, actually. I think he's full in production, so that'd be good. Uh, you got Barry. Go on, Barry, on, on Drew Duncan's uh, 4E scooter. Uh, Bob West. Danny Louder on the uh, on the zip. I'm not too sure I should find out his name. That is a new new start for this year. Like Johnny's is started to lap now, so um, show off. But no, no, he, um, riding in the rain is really hard. He, you know, it is a mass. It's all about confidence. And there's Justin. It is all about confidence. And, and yeah, you either like it or you don't. And, Stuart Day normally goes well in the wet, uh, so... All oh, right, right, battle for Group 4 now, so Dave has just overtaken Chris Gayton for the lead in Group 4, so that's good racing. Uh, Keith Terry's gone backwards, I don't know if the, the track is dry, but Keith has been passed now by a few people, so... which was here actually with Stuart Day a few years ago, Justin Weiss. It's deep down, so I think the track might be drying. It has stopped raining and the, the sun is kind of trying to break through. But So Dave Brissot's just overtaking Stuart Day. Uh, he is in the lead now for Group 4, followed by Chris Gayton, Brad Tatton. Uh, having a good race with being Scott. Go on, Keith. So yeah, they're coming up to about six laps, five, six laps, so still no sign of flag, so this might even be an eight lap. There's John, leader, overall, and uh, <coughs> uh, leader and uh, class leader as well, sorry. <coughs> well, Johnny Walk, you never know. Next year might happen. Uh, I, to be honest, I am itching. I'll, I'll have the T side of the business. I did get that, that bug back, so I have, I have started prepping at the, the old Group 6, so full body. I think I might do a few rounds next year. Leader again, John. It's weird because the, the numbers on John. Bob West. 
uh, close to the right. So Justin's obviously lapping now as well. So Justin is here. He's just yeah. He's overtaken. Starting to lap now. As I was saying, these are tricky conditions. These are probably the worst racing. It's it's one of them. The track's not wet and the track's not dry. It's a horrible, cold, greasy. It is horrible, horrible conditions. So yeah, yeah. Give them their due. Right, so Graham's caught Stuart Day now. So Johnny's flying, he's, he's, he's coming up to lap third and fourth places, so why they're, they're racing round. Yeah, so Johnny's flying, he's, he's coming up to I'm holding the mic as close as possible. Oh, there's Justin, Justin Price. Bob West. Um, number 83. And this is obviously the newcomer. Uh, uh, once again, so I don't know his name, but he's done quite well. Number 50, uh, four great. Oh, something's happened with Dave. Uh, I was more looking at the comments. I, 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 I didn't. I didn't clock the positions there, but Dave looks like he's got a problem. Dave Bristow, he was leading Group Four, so I can't see where Chris Gayton is. So, uh, yeah, not too sure. Right, checker flag is out. So, John obviously won it. So, well done, congratulations, John. Uh, Club. Well, I think not really. Justin second. But yeah, good, good riding. So Graham Tatton is actually third in Group 4, uh, in production I believe, no he'll be uh, first I believe actually in production. Stuart Day's third in 4 followed by Ian Scott. So. Yeah right, Chris has overtaken Dave, so Chris is in the lead for Group 4. Uh, I'll be covering all the races this weekend. Uh, John's coming, well done John, well done Keith, so yeah, um, I'll be covering all the races uh, this weekend, we've got super stock which is in about 20 minutes, so uh, the races are really close together um, this weekend, so it's literally a super scooter, uh, sorry, stock scooter, and there'll be a, a race in between then the super scooter, so uh, yeah, cheers for tuning in. As I said, don't get confused. Uh, I'm, I'm helping the BSSO out, so I said I'd do the live feed. So, um, so yeah. So keep on the page. Uh, should see you in about 20 minutes. They'll be calling the scooters back down, pretty much right away, just to get them down in the holding bay. Which they, they like to get them down there normally. I'm gonna go try and warm up my hands because I am freezing, absolutely freezing. So, right, I'll see you guys hopefully. 10 minutes or so and uh, we'll see how that that plans out so yeah thank you